podcast will show you how to, you, to use and insert charts into Google Sheets. A link to this data is posted on Canvas as well as in the YouTube description for this video if you want to follow along. So to begin, I'm going to highlight the information that I want to graph. I want to make sure I have my both my row and my column headers highlighted as well as the data. If you do not see the icon for insert chart up on top, click on the more button and you'll see it right down here where it says insert chart. I'm going to click. It's going to guess which type of chart I want and in this case it guessed correctly. I'm going to go to uh, customization now. I'm going to highlight column one. I'm going to say mean math test scores and that is going to change the title of my graph. I also don't like how where my um, y-axis, how the data starts at 76 and ends at 96, so I'm going to change that. Over on the side where it says axis, I'm going to select vertical. I'm going to title it and say um, mean scores. I'm going to do the new minimum of 70 and a new maximum of 100. And now it's going to look a lot prettier over here. For the axis, for the horizontal, I do not need any label, so I'm going to delete column one. And my legend already has blue for pretest, red for post test, so that is correct. And then from here, I'm just going to click insert. I'm going to resize this, and there it is, perfectly situated on my um, table. If I wanted to, I could click on this arrow over here and I can say move to its own sheet. Doing that is going to have, I'll have my sheet one over here with my data and I'll have my chart one right next to it. Graphing the remaining, remaining data is relatively the same process but there is one little shortcut I'm going to want to mention. Since I already have test one and test two mentioned over here, I'm going to highlight test one and test two hold down the command key, and then highlight my pre-post test as well as the data. Holding down the command key in Excel or Google Sheets allows you to select non-adjacent cells. I'm going to click on More. I'm going to click on Insert Chart. And you can see, this time it did not guess the correct chart. It has it going as a horizontal instead of my vertical bars. So I'm going to select Column over here. And once that is done, I'm going to go back to Customization, and the steps are the same. This time it was median test scores. I'm going to want to change my y-axis again. Change the minimum to 70, maximum to 100, and click on insert. Again, I can resize by dragging on a corner. I can move it wherever I want to. Or I can click on this down arrow, down arrow, and say move to its own sheet. Here I have chart one, chart two listed, and that is it. The remaining data can be graphed exactly the same way.